Now this right here is a yellow tail running to the game. He's a flippy floppy one too. That's what you want. You want a flippy floppy minner. Flippy floppy minner catch you fish. Won't they run? Absolutely. We flippy flopping. Look at them. Yeah, see here? They're just working their way down this bank right here. Let's throw this yellow tail out there and see there what happens. Yeah. And I'm just throwing it up, letting it go down. What little current it is is just drifting it down through here. And Ronnie's doing the same thing. Throw it out there and get him, Ronnie. Oh, did you see that boil on mine? Uh -uh. Yeah, he may be on here. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. There he is. Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> get that net. Get the net. <laughs> First throw. He pull and drag, y'all. I'm telling you right now, I'm in Ronnie Littlewood. We just got out here on Tennessee River. Oh, my goodness. This is a big one. Oh, Lord, look what a big fish. Look what a big fish, son. Oh, my gosh, he's pulling good. Oh, he's crazy. I'm telling you. Hard native when he's under the I can't get him out from under there. He don't want to come out. That's a monster right there, buddy. What dreams made of him? Yes, sir. What a way to start a day, Rocky. Get that big joke. Jesus! Woo! Look at that. God of all. Look at that, y'all. First throw of the day out here on the Tennessee River. Me and Ronnie Leatherwood out here. And I tell you, boy, oh, Lord, mercy, look at that. We've seen them feeding over here. He's in a big school of manor. Boy, throw it in there. Look at that. Wait a minute. Let me fix my hair. <laughs> <laughs> Let's turn this loose right here now. I would weigh in, but my scales are broke. Go back down there, boy. I sure appreciate you, big fish. Oh, yeah. What a way to start a morning. Oh, yeah. We, we just started. Get you one, Ronnie. I'm at you. Seriously, get you one. Got Ronnie Leatherwood right here with me. Yeah, buddy. You know, most time I'm over there with him at Pickwick Days over here with me and my boat. And I tell you, we just started out with a bang, as y'all can see right there. Oh, Lord, have mercy. But what we're going to do today, we're just going to fish our way up and down this river right here, Tennessee River. We're going to show y'all different, several different kinds of places to fish. And this is the first one right here. Appreciate y'all tuning in. I'm Rocky Drake, Rocky Drake Outdoors. Hmm. Well, we're going to have fun today, y'all. Yeah. That's what it's all about, having fun. Thank you. Look, 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 look. Oh, Lord, they bite. Come on, eat that minnow, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ronnie just missed one. Good Lord, son. You tore up, ain't you? I tore up. <laughs> <laughs> right, he's tore up. He's tore up like a can of kraut. As y'all can tell by the colors here in the trees, the leaves are starting to turn. I want y'all look here, what a beautiful place right here. Look at that. Mountains over there. Starting to get some color in them. Fall is almost here. It's been a long, hot summer. Hey, some big old smallmouth in here, y'all. We really want to show y'all like a big six, seven pound smallmouth today. Folks, we got a major front coming in tomorrow. Tonight, that temperature is going to start dropping. The wind's going to switch. Uh, and uh, so I think the fish are going to feed pretty heavy today. And we're after big fish today. We ain't, me and Ronnie, we ain't playing around today. We're after big ones. You got these schools of bait fish just working down the river here. And these fish are just following them. So you may sit here five or ten minutes and nothing going on. And then all of a sudden, a big school of bait fish come in here. And then when that happens, it's on. These big fish are just right there with them. And that's what's happening. I just saw some kind of look like they're kind of feeding down this way. So anyway, let's uh, let's get ready for them. Here they are right here. <laughs> I'm serious. It's like a bait. <laughs> oh, yeah. What is this? Oh, Lord. Another nice fish. Oh, come on, my goodness. Goodness. Golly. He's a little bigger. I mean, he's pulling drag. Is this a mean mouth? Come up here, you big. No, oh, that's a mean mouth. Look at that, y'all. That was my second throw. <laughs> I won't put him back. You can see how this little river here, right here runs into the big river right here. This is a really good place to look in the fall. This bait fish will gather up in the mouths of these creeks and little small rivers like this. I can see them busting fish way on down through y'all. And so this is where you're going to find your, your, your big fish that's feeding up for the fall. These little places like this right here. Now, this is just the first stop. We're going to work our way on up the river here, but we ain't leaving this right now until we make sure we done, you know, caught what we want to catch right here. Right now, we're sitting in 11 foot of water right there. And the water temperature is, let's see, 70 degrees. Y'all can see right there. Water temperature is cooling down because we got some real, some nice cool nights going on right now. Right here, y'all. Look at these. Look here. Look at that. Look at them big thread fin shad, y'all tell Oh, Lord of mercy. Just hooking them right up through the lips right there. Oh, 
Now I just got a little split shot on. See right there, a little split shot. Ronnie, he fit, he's free line. He ain't got nothing. No, he ain't got nothing. Boy, there's nothing just hit right up here on a big one. There's all kinds of bait in here, just thick. And this time of the year, going into fall, this is what you look for. You look for the bait. You look for the bait. You're gonna find the fish because they're feeding. Look at them busting out, China. Good Lord, they're all in here. I don't know what to do. See, we're at the mouth of this little, well, it's actually a small river coming out right here into the Tennessee River. Right out here is the Tennessee. So anyway, and they're just working up and down through here, feeding on this bait. Cause you can see the little same little rings out there. Oh Lord, that's just bait everywhere. Oh, I got nothing on. Oh, yes. No, I ain't kidding, Weed. They gonna jump. Oh, look at that. That's a small mouth. I think it's a small mouth, Ronnie. Come up here with me, son. <laughs> it's a good one, too. It's my third throw. Oh, my goodness. What, no what is it? He don't want to get in that net. I don't know. <laughs> he jumped like a small mouth, anyway. We have them flat footed biggins today, I'm telling y'all. That's a nice little fish, third throw. Yeah. Boy, we didn't have no trouble catching bait this morning. They were caught it before daylight. Get out there and catch me up a nut. Oh, Lord, have mercy. There he is. He just hit it. Look at him. I'm serious. Look at my line jumping. He's on here. <laughs> Missed him. No. I did, Ronnie. Doggone it. I got my pole all messed up. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. I don't know what to tell y'all about this. Really, it ain't nothing. You just throw it out there. That's all you got to do. It ain't no special technique. Today's a perfect day to do this, though. It's overcast, cloudy, as y'all can see. They're just all in here. It'll, it'll be a thousand of them out in here. You don't never know. Beautiful day out here on the Tennessee River. Ain't it, Ronnie Leatherwood? You got one snorting on it? I got one snorting. All right, get him. Ronnie's focused back here like a big blue heron. Look at that blue heron out trying to catch them bait out in the middle of the river. I got one on right here. See him running up the river with it? See right here? Yep. Folks, I'm gonna show y'all. See that see this so when I pick up I see how he's running up the river with it. Watch this right here. We don't know how big it's gonna be neither. I got it, Ron. I don't need a net, he's just a puller. Oh Lord have mercy. Look at him jump. <laughs> see. Oh, that's a good fish. You ain't kidding it, is Lord in mercy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, what one. Is that on a gizzard or yellow? That was a small gizzard. I'm gonna show y'all now. See, look here, boy. Oh, Lord of mercy, that's good. Yeah, let's turn that last fine fish right there. Right there's what I caught him on, that little small gizzard shed right there. Now, when we first got here, right after daylight, these fish are real active in here, but now it's kind of quieting down. And what happens, once that sun starts coming up, they'll move out in this deeper water. You can see them out here. So we may move on out a little deeper and try. They're going to follow that bait. Wherever that bait goes, that's where they're going. That's right. So anyway, let's, uh, let's do that. And uh, this is just the first stop of the morning. We're going to work our way all the way up to Gunnerful Dam. Well, that must be a stump right there. Ah, I bet that broke the leader and everything. Okay. I got to tie another leader on. I just broke my leader off. And that's, you know, really, you don't want to do that when the fish bite. Okay, folks, I just broke my leader off. So I'm gonna have to tie another leader on. And uh, right here's what I'm using, 12 pound trilene extra smooth casting, Berkeley line right there. That's what I like to use right there. And it's fresh too, I just bought it the other day. You don't wanna use no old line. I done been down that road. I use an Alberto knot to tie my leader line on. Now the leader line, what I usually do, I just roll it up to about this last eye on my rod right here. I don't I don't want to get that knot down in in my spool right there. It, it causes you problems when you go to casting it, that knot of getting hung up in there. So that's what I do with that. And then we're gonna tie one of these little hooks on here. Now let's get one of these hooks out. And I don't use big hooks. Now this hook that I'm using a little number two mosquito hook. I don't use big hooks. For one thing, you don't really need them. And these right here, you don't really have, they're so sharp and needle points, you don't really have to set the hook out hard on them to get a good hook set. And as far as the red, I just like red. I don't know if it makes no difference or not, but uh, these are owner mosquito hooks right here. And anyway, so let's tie one of these little boogers on. I mean, they're little hooks, but you've seen, I mean, they'll hold a big fish. I've caught big, big stripe on it. I actually caught about a 35 pound stripe on 
<laughs> one of these little hooks one time. I mean, once they hooked, they hooked. You know, I mean, seriously. I mean, you, you know. So anyway, and I'm gonna just tie a polymer knot on. Uh, I'm just gonna show y'all that while I'm at it here. Ronnie back there focusing. <laughs> I'm waiting for a big bite. I'm gonna try to do this without my glasses. Maybe I can. Let me just, okay, just tie this little polymer knot on. It's real quick and simple and the best knot as far as I'm concerned to use live bait fishing like we fishing right here right now. now see that right there look at the old lord mercy <laughs> okay now I'm gonna get me a little split shot now, as far as the split shot size it just depends on how much current it is and how big your bait is and how far down in the water column you want to get it well, folks, it was fast and furious right here this morning. There for about 30 minutes it was on. But now it's done, died out. All the minnows moved out and the fish moved out. So we're going to head on up the river now. We're going we're gonna to head another couple of places. All right, folks, our next stop right here at the Gunnersville Dam. And uh, we're going to fish into this wing wall right here. And the way they got this current going, I think we might do pretty good. Don't you, Ronnie? I think so. I want Ronnie to catch about a 10 to 15 pounder right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get up here and do it. Now we're gonna fish this and then we're gonna fish some other places. We're gonna try to catch a big fish on each place we go to. Try to, anyway, let's do it. Oh, and by the way, it started raining on the way up there. <laughs> we got a front coming in tonight and that's why these, these fish are biting today, I'm telling you, they're biting the big ones. Yeah. Hold that right there. Oh yeah. That a good, that's a good in there, ain't it? That's a good one. Ronnie got a big one on now, get the net. <laughs> That's a good Hold him, hook. Oh my goodness. There's another jump right there. Ronnie, this is a big fish. Oh, look here. What a, oh, Lord in mercy, what a big fish. Oh, Lord. Oh. Look, look, look. They're trying to get mine. Look, 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 look. Golly, what a spotted bass. <laughs> Look here, what a spot. There's another one after mine. I see that. Did you see that one after mine? It's about that side. Okay. <laughs> there you go, y'all. Ha ha ha. Right now, we're in 15 foot of water right there. See, 15. We're just drifting this edge right here. There he is. I was running it back in. He grabbed it. What is it? Oh my gosh, big fish. I don't know, I can't see him that. Oh, look at him. Nice, that's okay, I got it. He's good. See if I can flip him up in here. I'm telling you, he hit it, I was reading it back in, he hit it. Nice bass right there, boy, Lord. We, whoo, Lord, we ain't them day. Ain't we, Ronnie? Yes, sir. <laughs> Turn them loose. Yeah, we just we was fishing up there at the end of that wing wall. Ronnie caught that real good one up there. And then it just quit. I just got my finger on the line, just like that. My bail open, just let the line off. And the reason I do that when one grabs it, I can just drop it like that and let him run with it just a little bit and then shut my bail and set the hook. Look at the rainbow, y'all. I hope y'all can see that, just a beautiful rainbow. Hey, it's hitting right there at my small mouth hole, son. We're gonna get down there. That's where the pot of gold was at. Yeah. Oh, that's a big one, ain't it? That's a good one. Oh, oh my. Come on. That was like a six pound smallmouth. Ronnie, did you see it? Yeah. Hi. Big smallmouth. Come straight up, too. Yeah. And there, you're going to think about that for a while. I mean, when you set the hook, he didn't budge, did he? Goodness, that was a big fish. Wasn't it? Did he look big to you? Did that fish feel like real heavy? I'm actually videoing this. <laughs> we don't mind. Keep anything, nah, turn it all back. You met Josh. Yeah, I know I Josh. Oh yeah, yeah. This is kind of hey Kyle, Kyle, how you doing, buddy? I'm Good to meet you. Good to see you. This is Ronnie Leatherwood. Ronnie Leatherwood. My fishing buddy here. Nice to meet you. Let's see where it is. I got a lifetime license, I know. Here it is. We'll see it. You see it? Yeah, you can do it. Figured you did, but I Good to see you. See you. Oh, I'm looking in the 
He drift on down a little bit. Holy son, he knocked that thing out of my hand while I was running it back in. Is that a good one? Ronnie got a big one on. Big and big. Oh Lordy mercy, Ronnie, hold on, let me get, let me get the net, let me get the net, let me get the net. Oh my gosh, Ronnie got a big one. What is it? Spot. Oh Lord, look here. Ah, there's a nice and boy. Beautiful, beautiful spotted bass. They so far. They are. They're real aggressive. That's a good one there, Ronnie. Lord have mercy. Oh, nice one, nice one. Turn that camera on. I got the camera on, son. Oh my gosh. Let me get the net. Get the net. He wants me to get the net, y'all. Nice one, too. <laughs> yeah, I got That's a good one there, boy. What a, what a pretty fish. Look at what a pretty fish. Well, folks, there you go. That's a nice fish, Ronnie. Yeah. Seem like mouths of the creek right now is where the where it's at so keep that in mind going in the fall right now because this bait's coming up i can see bait flipping all back up through you